hi guys welcome to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are my name is nora and welcome welcome to my youtube channel if it's your first time to view my channel you're most welcome kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell to turn on the notification every time that i upload the new videos you'll be notified all right guys so today i'm not here to talk too much about myself but I want to give you some tips that I use as, a, as myself, as a person, to overcome all the things that I've been through, the fears, the, you know, so many things that people say about us that make us feel bad and make us feel late about ourselves. One thing that I realize in myself is that you should always love yourself. Self-love is one of the most important things that you should do in your life. Because when I, when I became a mother, um, one day my mom told me, you know what, Nora, you've ruined everything. No one will ever wants you again. Yes, I know. I felt so bad and uh, I overcame so protective to myself that I did not want anything to do with any man because I used to say, mom said no one will ever want me. Yes. But when I grew up to at uh, the age of 17, 18, 19, I started putting that behind me. I'm like, no, that was before, but now I can be whoever I want to be. And the second thing, you should, yeah, there's sometimes when you, when you have this kind of problem, you feel like it will never end. Yes, I went through one first being raped by my stepdad and again being raped by my the father of my kid and he denied the whole thing that he doesn't have anything to do with me he never touched me i went through a difficult time that i felt that oh my god what am i going to do everyone is going to call me names yes people called me names when they found out that i was lying about the father of my kid yet i was telling the truth but that i overcame it how did i overcome it i used to tell myself there is nothing there this storm is not bigger than what i'll be facing in the coming years or what i'll be going through this will soon end and i know it's just a matter of the time the storm will end it's like the rain is going to rain and it will stop that's what i used to tell myself it's going to rain and it will stop raining the day will dry the soil will become fertile and grass will grow everything will come out so i used to tell myself so many things that i used to feel so bad about myself when i was raped by my stepdad yes i used to feel bad because i was i was young by then at the age of eight so i used to feel bad and i grew up i grew up feeling so bad and distancing myself from other kids playing with them but i had this one friend who was a who was a male friend of mine i grew up with him and Actually, he became my first boyfriend in my life because I trusted him and I wasn't afraid of telling him the truth because I grew up with him. We became friends since our childhood, growing up together. So it was so easy for me. But I realized that I shouldn't hold to that fear. I should always let go. Sometimes if you don't forgive yourself, you always feel so bad about everything. Before forgiving, before forgiving others, you first have to forgive yourself because you're the most important person in your life. However much things are not going the way you want. Learn to forgive yourself. Tell yourself, you know what, I need to let go of all these stuff, everything. And the third thing that you should always do, always be grateful of what you have in your life. I used to really feel somehow like, oh my God, I used to see other girls and now I'm like, they're so beautiful than I. But I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, but I'm beautiful. What do I mean by beautiful? Beautiful doesn't mean on the face or how you dress up. The beauty comes from the heart. Yes, I may not be beautiful on my face. I may not have, have a good accent like other girls have, but... I know that the beauty comes from a heart. It doesn't come from a face. It doesn't come from the bombs. It doesn't come from the hips. Whatever. But the beauty comes from the heart. And another thing that I've learned, about my, I've learned in life, it's, it's self-confidence. There's a time when you're afraid you can't talk. 
I'm a person, as I told you, I never grew up with so much friends. I only grew up with one friend next to me. So I was so always afraid to talk or to say what I want to say. But when I grew up, I started learning public speech, how people do their thing, how they talk. I learned how to overcome my fear and how to talk, to tell someone, you know what, I don't like this, I don't like this. And I, and I remember some people would say, oh my God, she can talk. Yes, you can overcome anything. Self-confidence, you speak while not fearing a person. You, f- you speak with the confidence. You don't fear to tell a person how you feel. I became a manager. Yes, I did not study for managing by business managing, but I've ever managed two restaurants just by confidence. My boss told me one day, you know what, Nora? I like it and I like the confidence in you. So you be the manager of this place. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And that's how you can. But you shouldn't. And another thing you shouldn't use, like when someone tells you, you conf- I like your confidence and, and you say, yeah, 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 yes, I am. And no, take it, take things slow. Eh? You shouldn't overdo it. And another thing that I want to tell you, you who is watching this video, I know you've gone through so many things. I don't know what you're going through right now. And I don't know what has happened in your life. But as a person who has ever been who has ever been through so many things, I'm telling you this. You can overcome everything. But one thing that you should always do, put God first. Every morning, every evening, even midday. Just say, God, thank you. I thank you for who I am today. You know, every time that we trust God, he helps us. I did not have anyone to talk to, but I learned to talk to God since my childhood. Learned talking to him. Yes, you might think I talk alone by myself. You you can find me talking alone and you're like, she's crazy now. I'm talking to that person who knows what I went through. I talk to that person who knows how I feel. I talk to that person who knows each and everything that I go through in my life. Who I don't like and who I like. Everything I tell him. Because I can't. I don't like telling someone something and they find out that they have told another person and another person. That's gossiping. If I tell you something, I want you to keep it. Because I trust you. So don't again go around flooding with what I told you, gossiping, and don't see yourself as an average. You're a beautiful person with a beautiful heart, with a big heart. You can become anything you can ever become in this world. Don't ever tell yourself, I can't do this. I can never become who I want to be. Yes. I've always been afraid of talking to people, but I overcame it. I've always been afraid of managing a business but i learned to work as a manager and facing all the challenges in my life i remember they used to tell me you can never be a manager you and how did even boss choose you to be a manager but yeah he saw it in me other people can not see what what somebody sees in you in 10 people one people can know who you are and they can know what kind of person you are and don't ever let people tell you what you cannot do and what you can do and don't ever rely on people. People are not you. You are not created with them. When you be, when you came out of your mother's womb, you became, you came all alone. Yes, you have your siblings, but God did not create you with your siblings. That you all have the same talent. You have different talents. You have so many things. Everyone has their own talents in the family. And another thing that I want you to do is always respect, respect people. However much you're talented, you're beautiful, you're understanding, respect someone, old or young, respect them. Don't take people like they are nothing, no. Respecting people around you, respecting your elders. Yes, I know sometimes people, when you respect them, they take that as an advantage. Yes, but just get over it and just do the right thing, respect when you respect people everywhere you go, there's one in 10 or 20 people. Someone will say, no, I know this person. She's this and this. Whatever you're saying about her, that's not true. There's someone out there who will defend you. 
and another thing don't rely on people like um can i i, I really need to do this but i need to ask so so you ask so many people 10 to 20 people yet you can just sit by yourself and tell yourself you know what i should do this and another thing when when you when someone annoys you don't go telling others go to that person and tell that person you know what i don't like this and this about what you did talk about it with them don't go around making the small issue to turn out to be a big issue i i learned something and i love this about myself i'm not just bragging about myself but i love this about myself if you annoy me i will not keep it i'll come to you and say hey you know what stop doing whatever you're doing it's i'm not happy with it i'll tell you how i feel like i'll not keep it i don't know how to zip it i cannot relate anything like that i always tell someone how i feel and i always like my bosses especially my bosses i always tell them how i feel like yes i know i also do something wrong but before telling me telling my boss how i feel i tell them if i've ever done anything wrong to you you should always tell me and that's from there that's when i tell them you know what this and this and this i don't like and they're like you know what Nora? and you see them being open with you they tell you what they don't like about you and what they like about you so you shouldn't ever be afraid of of telling someone how you felt don't keep it thinking that you're hurting their feelings no. by keeping quiet with what you know is hurting their feelings yes maybe there's something that you need to keep quiet with but there's some things where you need to tell someone you know what this and this i don't like about you or this if i've ever done anything wrong to you please just let me know be open with them don't don't even think of how though when you know they say the truth really hurt when someone realizes that they have done you wrong they'll, they'll come back and say may, they may not they may not come back and tell you but they realize that yeah they have done something wrong okay and another thing that you should always do always tell yourself however much you are mother at a young age you're beautiful <laughs> anyone can fall in love with you anyone can come after you okay only me i don't want them to come after me <laughs> right yeah i don't want anyone to come after me i'm really sorry to say this but i'm happy the way i am i want to be happy with myself there is something that I want to tell you guys how I felt when I was abused by my stepdad. There is that pain that I used to feel deep down in me. I wanted to cry. I wanted to shout loud. I wanted to tell someone. I wanted to kill. Yes, I've ever tried to kill myself. But I realized this is, this is coming from where I'm telling you, you have to forgive yourself before forgiving others. You have to let go of whatever you're going through into your life i thought so bad and i i had this burden in me that i used to cry a lot yes i used to cry a lot for what happened to me and i was so traumatized by that like growing up and having a friend beside me i realized that i had someone that can cheer me up and someone who doesn't see me as like others do this guy, when I grew up with this guy, I became more open to him. 